Hey guys and girls, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Tug with myself, Lewis. Hope you're bringing yourself a great day as always. Don't I look amazing with my combed over hair? It's, uh, it's real, real stylish, I must admit. <laughs> now we're back, and I have been working on a brand new base. Yes, it looks cool. It's, it's very much still early development, but it is getting there slowly. Uh, in the last episode, we went and found some geckos which was kind of cool, looking at some mods and things, and I actually, I, I'm not gonna lie, I totally forgot where my base was, so I decided to just make my base in this desert. Over there is where we found the geckos, we found the desert, and I thought while we're kind of near a desert, well, you know, we'll make a desert for, we'll make a desert base for once. We've never done that before, so I thought I'd give it a try, and the good thing I've kind of figured out about a desert is because we're so close to woods, we can go get woods whenever we can go get wood whenever we like, and we can also come back here, and it's easier to find the base because it's quite an open area, isn't it? Whereas before, it was in between all the trees and stuff. So, yes. Now I made this little cubby hole here where I've been placing all of my things. I want to try and go for an aesthetically pleasing base, <laughs> whereas the last one was well, really, the last few episodes have been more of a show and tell than anything else. Going around trying to figure out how everything works and what we should be doing and learning how the game kind of plays, and I think now we've got a decent grasp of the game that we can actually start really kind of getting into the nitty gritty of it, making a nice base, getting some things together. I've made some holes over here, because I think every every seed needs his holes <laughs> filled with things, as uh, stuff doesn't despawn, so you need to kind of find a place to put things, and at the minute the chests don't actually have an inventory. They will soonish, but at the minute they don't, so I've been making kind of holes to put things, and I think it looks alright, I guess. I'll probably move all this eventually, but this is just for the time being while I work on getting an actual base done. Now, my idea of the base is I want a layered base. So, I want down the bottom will be our uh, kind of tools. So, we'll have our, uh, our, our big stones, our, our weapons and things. I'm, I think I'm actually going to make more of these. So, I might even dig a hole underneath there and then put loads of them in there underneath them. So you can come along and say, well, I want a hammer, and then if that one's broken or about to break, you can break it, and then you can go under there and grab another one. It's like having a drawer that you put out, except it's just going to be a hole, because holes are awesome. <laughs> we love holes. So I got my food, I've got my wooden pieces, which are my placeable blocks, I've got my non-placeable woods and cactus and reed things, and then I've got my round stones, which are brilliant because we need these for so many things. I've got my shaped stones, so things like axe heads, pickaxe heads. Uh, we've got vines, which we need for most of the things for binding stuff together. And then we've got our placeable rocks, I guess, sand, bits and bobs like that, a few pebbles. Uh, mainly the things that we use for building, so. And they needed a bigger hole because they get really big. Like that 72, the 100 ones are massive. So they're definitely not going to fit in a 3x2. Now let's get a little bit of light in this place because I've placed down the first torch and I want to get some more light up there. I want to get some around here because uh, it does get dark fairly quickly. I've got my bed, but it'd be kind of nice to do that. And then we'll get some food going. And I was kind of thinking, well, where do I want my food? <clears throat> I kind of want it to be tucked away somewhere. Because I don't really want to change the aesthetic of a desert. A desert is kind of nice, isn't it? And when we get the addition of water in a desert, it's going to look insane because you'll have all these amazing oasises, oasises and things. It's going to look really nice. So I think I'm going to go over here. I'm going to dig an area into here and I'm going to make like a room inside that area and I'm going to have crops in there. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I have no idea if the crops need light, so uh, we'll find that one out. But if they do, I can just dig away the roof. That's fine. So let's get some of these to go. Now, I've been looking and keeping a track on uh, some of the bits and bobs that Nerd Kingdom have been coming out with as far as the game is concerned. And it's looking really promising. I must admit, it's looking really awesome. Uh, there is soon to be a alchemical set, some alchemistry. It's going to be cool. They're making, I've watched a video on it, so you guys should probably go and watch the video on it. I'll, do you know what I'll do? I'll put the links to all the videos in the description that I talk about during this episode. Um, I need to get some wood as well. Let's see if we've got enough bits. One, two, three. And some stones. Yeah. You know, if we're going to make loads of torches, we might as well just make a fire. Because that's the easier way of doing it, isn't it? 
But yeah, they're going to have an old alchemistry set getting added, which is going to be awesome. And it looks really cool as well, because it's made with like a hollowed out pumpkin that's cut in half. And then you've got sticks on the sides holding it in place with the fire below it. And you're soon to be able to make like potions and things. Which is kind of interesting, because I don't really know what kind of potion-y thing they're going for. Whether they want the kind of... Not real, because it's not really real, is it? But whether they're going for the semi-realism type thing, or whether they're going for the real fantasy type thing. So, semi-realism, I would class as kind of... Uh, kind of potions of strength, almost. Like stuff that allows you to throw your spear longer. That could be one thing. Um, and then you've got the type of things that aren't really that semi-real, which uh, I think I've got a dupe here. <laughs> so I've just, I made three. Am I meant to be able to make three? Maybe. Let's just, let's make loads more while we're at it. Yeah. I, um, the other type of thing that I would guess, oh, I didn't get any of that one, would be kind of like potions of night vision, you know, like the Minecrafty ones, because they're not really that I wouldn't class them as semi-realistic. They're kind of a little bit silly. Like, the ones that allow you to to uh, run super fast. And ones that allow you to see in the dark. Those type of things aren't really that realistic. So I wouldn't really class them as that. Uh, when I place, place there. Oh man, did you just eat my stick? Don't eat the stick. There we go. That's, that's better. <laughs> Now we can get in here. I made these steps because I actually, originally, I made these steps here to get up and around. And then when I started digging this area out and I started replacing it with rock because I wanted to make it a focal point and uh, changing the materials is always really good for making focal points. So I did that and I started digging in here and I thought, well, you know, let's turn this into uh, kind of steps. Do you know, that's something I'm really looking forward to, the addition of steps. <laughs> steps and ladders. Because I was originally thinking, instead of living in a desert, I was like, well, I could take some of those giant trees out there and I could try and build a base between the trees. Like, those type of things have, like, bases between them. But we kind of really need some some way of getting up easier than having to jump up single, single steps. But I'm sure stairs are going to be something that will be coming in eventually. Um, saving you have to jump up every single one. Yeah. So except for the potion side of things, there has been quite a bit more that's been uh, shown off. And that is the addition of predators. Yes. So the one real thing that this game is missing is a sense of real survival. You know, you've got your hunger and hunger's all good. Um, but it's not really that hard to get food and it's not really that hard to gather food. Now, bear in mind everything is kind of work in progress and it's still very much in its infancy so there's gonna be loads of changes and there's still loads to be that's planned to be added it just takes time to do it but having the addition of predators man that is gonna be awesome i am i am pumped to have predators in the game now the one they've shown off is like some sort of saber tooth tiger and it looks pretty mean i'm gonna just quickly grab some i wonder if i can actually eat these huh i noticed down here there was a patch of Red, what well, can only look like kind of turnips, radishes, turnips. There we go. And there was actually ones down here as well that were like a different color. So I wonder if I can eat these. Let's take a load of them. Am I hungry at the minute? I am hungry at the minute. All right, let's do a bit of food testing. Let's grab a light turnip and see how it tastes. Uh, oh, that fed me, but actually damaged me at the same time. Huh. Well, I guess they're not that good. Uh, what about the these turnips? Oh, they're the good turnips. All right, so note to self, don't eat the light turnips. Eat the dark turnips. That's fine. And I wonder if we can eat these as well. And I'm not hungry at the minute, but you can still eat stuff when you're not hungry. Yes, it went down to three. Cool. So that's another type of food. We can have turnips. So let's place our uh, turnip in there. There we go. And we'll place our dark turnips in there. Uh, can we eat these? These gonna hurt us as well? Oh, they didn't look like they hurted us. All right, we'll have those in there. And this can go back in our pile down there. Cool. I don't really know what I wanna do with these ones. I need a place for stuff that I don't want. Maybe we can have this, this can be the shoot. 
Yep, that's the place we're going to place rubbish. Oh, wow. That... Wow. <laughs> that looks like it goes down for years. Maybe we should have had that as the chute. The chute to nowhere. Huh. <laughs> But since they've shown off all of the stuff to do with those guys, um, it's looking really promising. Being able to have predators and stuff, and it's it's really something that's been missing. And I'm really looking forward to having to kind of fight for survival, have an actual problem, like something to look out for when you're doing it. Now in the video it shows it that the uh, tigery thing is kind of going to stalk up on you from nowhere, which is you know that's pretty awesome, and. When the player in the video pulled out a torch, it ran away. So, I'm guessing it's going to kind of be a, uh, a night timey thing. And uh, it's going to slowly sneak up on you, coming towards you. And if you're not careful, it's going to jump on you and, and eat you. But, I guess there must be some way of telling whether it's there. So, you're probably going to be able to hear it kind of sneaking up on you. Or you'll be able to hear it like kind of like growling or something. That was the worst growl ever. <laughs> kind of hear it going as it kind of comes up towards you. And then you can whip your torch out and it'll be like, run away. Or, you can whip out a giant cactus spiked stick and bash it in the head. And that's... I would probably go with the bashing. I think the bashing is more promising. But <laughs> that's... Definitely, yeah, that's probably one way of doing it. All right, let's get this base kind of made. Now, I've started working around in here. Um, I'm going to dig out a load of this. And we're going to try and get some sort of a room made in here. Is that my torch? Is that my torch? Huh, look, my torch. Well, hey, all right, I didn't lose it. It just appeared in here. Hmm. Yes. Wow, well at least I got my torch back. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to build in here, and this is going to be our lower floor. Now, inside this base, I want to have three floors. So we're going to have the lower floor, one down from this, and we're going to have the higher floor, one above this. And the higher floor is going to stick out of the rock up there. Because this area, if you look at all of the uh, rocks around here, they're all lead to give it that kind of desert, plateau-y type feel. And... It makes it really good for making multi-story buildings because we have the uh, size to be able to do that. So I think that's what we're going to do. And I think it will fit the aesthetic of the area as well, making it look kind of nice, having layered buildings in a layered desert environment. It just it just fits, you know? Yeah. But this area here is going to be our sleeping quarters, our uh, sleeping areas. And I think I might even put a fire in here as well. I'm stuck on something. What am I stuck on? Ah. Aha! Wow, what was I actually stuck on then? <laughs> okay, right, we're good again. Let's keep mining. So, oh man, I'm, I'm stuck again. Uh, maybe I need to raise the roof. Oh, we have to probably fill that in, I guess. Let's see if that does the trick. Yeah, that does the trick. All right. So we need to make sure that this is... What's that? One, two, three, four, five high? I might even go higher than that to try and make it look a little bit nice. Otherwise, it's pretty much just going to be a hole in the wall, <laughs> which isn't going to be that great. Now, I would like to start thinking about making an area designed just for all of this alchemical chemistry set stuff and uh, potion making, but I'm not too sure if worlds will carry over over updates. So I'm a little bit reluctant to do that. I'm probably gonna make a room just for it, but I'm not gonna kind of, you know, kit it out and make it look kind of nice. And I have no idea what we're actually gonna be using for making all of these different types of chemistry type thingies. In the video, it shows them using the uh, purpley glowy plants to be able to do that. And you make like purpley plants. It showed a thing that only kind of looked like a kind of a bone mealy type thing yeah and you kind of mix those together and bam you get yourself a potion so i think we'll make a room for it but we're not going to do loads of work on it it's probably going to be in the basement actually we might do that in the basement and uh we'll set a little area up that has those purpley plants in there the glowy plants to uh get ready for it because it depends when it's actually going to be released as well. Because I have no idea when it's actually going to be released. But as you can tell, I am pretty excited 
to get my hands on this and have a play. Oh, we're gonna have to do some work around here because this leads right into a cave. Or maybe we can even use that cave for uh, for awesomeness. Possibly, possibly. But I can just see it now, having to put fences around your base <clears throat> to keep out all of the bad guys and keep out the tigers from stalking up in you while you while you're doing your gardening. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't got any doors yet, so I guess when we finally get doors and gates, maybe, that's going to be pretty cool. Because primitive people, caveman folk, can probably make doors, I guess, if they put their head towards it. So we could do that, and then once we get things like stairs and whatnot, it's going to be really handy then. But you can actually hunt the bad guys, the tigery things, which is kind of cool, so... I saw they speared a tiger and it dropped uh, what looked like a fur and a meat. So like the goats at the minute will drop a fur and a meat. It looks like they're going for the same type of thing. Which is, you know, kind of cool, isn't it? Let's cook up some gecko meat. Let's get some gecko meat. Now I've never actually tried relighting my fire. I don't know if that's a thing. I'm just going to kind of guess. It's like this. But on the video, they relit a fire. I was like, what? <laughs> you can relight fires? Uh, no, that doesn't look like it. Um, I actually have no idea how you would do this. Maybe if I put light stuff down. No, that's not it. Um, 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 a log. And some stones. No, two stones. No, oh, maybe not. Wow. <laughs> it was a nice try. Let's go get a, a bit of shy. Okay, cool. Right, let's go get ourselves some wood. And we're going to get some trees together. We're going to bring this guy up into our small house. And I think we're going to call it a day after that. I'm going to need another axe, aren't I? Yes. But look how much dirt we get. And when we throw this on the ground... Ouch. Uh, let me put it in my hands. Uh, woof. Look at the size of that guy. <laughs> it's huge. Try and get it all in there. It does kind of compress together though when it's all in there, which is kind of nice. So we need some of that. We need one of these. Let's place that down. And that guy. And that. And let's get ourselves an axe. Bam. Cool beans. So yeah, it takes a little bit of time to get used to the side that ev nothing really despawns. I kind of thought it would do, but it doesn't. So you have to make space for everything, unless you want it all cluttered, like we did at the other base. But really, like I said before, the other base was kind of more of a show and tell, whereas this is going to be really where the kind of play style actually starts. Trying to fight for survivor. Yes, from mammothy evil, big liony things. <laughs> It's going to be hilarious. And I'm kind of hoping as well <clears throat> that some of the guys that I know are actually going to get a version of Tug soon so we can do some multiplayer stuff because currently I don't actually really know anyone that has um, a version of multiplayer Tug. Well, there's probably people that I do know, but no one I actually would want to kind of record with that, that I know. So, and Nemson did get himself a version of Tug, but he did the thing that everyone does wrong, and they never read the system requirements, and thus he has not a computer graphics card that can handle uh, DirectX 11. So, uh, yeah. note to self, guys, when you buy this, you do need DirectX 11. So please, 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 make sure you have that. I can't get my base. Ooh. All right, I got my base. So let's put this down here. Nope. I guess we'll do it there. Nah. There. Yes. What side does the fire come on? It's this side, isn't it? I guess we'll have it. No. Nope. There. A little bit further back. Yeah. Now do the trick. Okay. Let's get some stones. Have we got stones? We haven't. There we go. Oh, that reminds me. I've. <laughs> you might have been able to hear him throughout the episode. Uh, we've got down he Oh man, has he got out? Oh man, my little friend's got out. Is that him down there? For the whole time I've been building over here, I've had a gecko stuck in there. <laughs> I kind of, I forgot to kind of remove the gecko mod. I'll do it at some point. But uh, yeah, the whole time we've had little guys just running around. And I don't know if I can catch him. Die! 
<laughs> Give me your valuable meat. Okay, get, there we go. We got him. Let's get our little Reza. I wonder if I can place this down here where it's going to go mental because it is kind of big. Uh, 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 uh. I might have to make some room over here for it. I wonder if I can fit it in there. Uh, that'll kind of do. Yeah, let's go and skin this gecko and take his lovely meats. There we go. Good stuff. And we'll cook this up and this will give us a lovely, lovely supper for the evening as it is kind of getting that way. I really need to see if I can relight fires because it was on the video and I was like, that is so awesome. I want to be able to do that. All right, let's throw down our log. Down here, there we go, and our stones, poof, and make fire. <laughs> here we go. Right. Oh man, I got it the wrong way around. <laughs> it's on the other. Oh, well that's well, it's kind of in the wall, I guess. I wonder if we can dig it out. Can we dig it out? Yes, we can. It's like our own little private cooking area under here. Hey, there we go. See, there's always a way. Let's cook our meat. So we'll have two nice, lovely gecko tails. It's gonna taste beautiful. And I think that's now we're gonna call it a day. Yeah. Let's just do this one as well. So in the next episode, I think we're gonna carry on working on the base, getting it look pretty funky. There we go. Let's have a gecko. Yummy. Look at that. Look at all of that. That's amazing. Yeah, we're going to carry on working on the base. We're going to look pretty good. I'm going to do some work uh, probably filling this area at the back because there's a pretty big kind of cave down here. And I actually wanted to take some of this dirt for the farm that we're going to make. Now, you can go ahead and you can hoe just the regular ground, I think, and it still works. Let's give it a go. We're going to change all this anyway, so I don't mind hoeing in here. Yeah, so we can hoe the sand. But I think having regular dirt there is probably the better way of doing it. So, oh, can we? There we go. Good stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to go and probably dig out a load of this dirt. I'm going to make this here so it's one flat area. But at least we're not going to be able to, we're not going to need to dig out loads for the cellar. It's going to just kind of work. And then maybe we'll start on the second floor once we've got that. It's going to be pretty interesting. But, yeah. Alright, guys. So, make sure you keep an eye out for uh, all of the stuff that Nerd Kingdom's been uh, showing off over the past week or so. We've had a couple of videos. Uh, some more information on modding. There actually, there's actually a call out at the minute for Minecrafters that um, are pretty good with making maps. Making adventure maps. So, if you think you're a, a proper good YouTuber that can make adventure maps and make some really cool... Uh, I don't even think you need to do YouTube, but if you're, if you're just a... Feel, you, you know, you really enjoy making your adventure maps, then it might be worth checking out that website because I think they've got something going on with that yeah all right guys I'll see you soon for another episode have yourself a great day have a good one as always and goodbye